All right, so what I'm going to show you now is just a very simple refried pasta with a cold raw sauce. So I intended to start out with, I was going to do a red pepper sauce, but I didn't have that much red pepper and then I got overly creative, so I'm not sure what kind of sauce this is. It doesn't really matter. You can do whatever you want. So it's red pepper. I put a little bit of avocado in there, try to make it creamy. There's some uh, red onion, a little bit of garlic, uh, dill, parsley, basil, all fresh, all organic. And I threw in just a few cherry tomatoes. And so that's what I'm gonna and yeah, so that's what I'm gonna put in here, which is oil. Put a little bit of oil in this little mixer. And I'm basically gonna grind it up into the sauce. Because I'm lazy and I don't like dishes, I'm just going to push this over. And as I make it, I'm just going to pour it back in here. I don't care if there's a few chunks. I'm going to pour it back in here on this side and then just keep instead of getting multiple dishes. <clears throat> Alright, let's do this. I'm just going to keep loading this up until it's done, and then we'll go to the next one. Alright, I got some oil in a pan here. And I just got a little bit of onion and garlic. And now I'm going to immediately put in already pre cooked pasta, some leftover pasta I have. Turn it down just a bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put in just a little bit of that sauce that I made. Just to kind of put a little bit of that flavor into the pasta. I'll we'll fry it here when we add the, the cold later. It kind of just, you know, it's already covered, for lack of a better way to put it. It's certainly not completely different. Again, it's okay if we cook a little. This method, again, like all of these methods I'm doing are, are half raw, half cooked. The whole point is for those, really, it's, it's not for people that are going fully raw. It's for people that are either on their way there and are transitioning, or for people who have no intention of totally going raw, but they want to get all the nutrients and benefits and flavors that come from eating tons of raw herbs and vegetables. Now, uh, shout out, I did forget to uh, mention that, that uh, sauce that I made. I, at, at the last minute, I also put in some uh, Hungarian uh, paprika and a little bit of curry, just a teeny bit of curry. Other than that, it's all just vegetables and herbs chopped up. And then ground up as you saw. There it is. Now get the consistency every, any way you want. I'm not very picky, so I'm just going to go with this. If you want it, you could add a little lemon or a little bit of liquid of some sort. Put it in a blender blender. You know, get it into a smooth sauce by all means, if that's what you want to do. It doesn't really matter 
what or how you do your raw sauce. This pass is just about done. I'm just going to crank it up just to the, get the heat going. Because we're pretty much at the end, I'm going to just add the cold ingredients. Let's stand for a minute and we serve just enough to just slightly warm, or I should say uncool these vegetables that came right out of the free fridge. But not enough to cook them. Boy, that smells good. You can really smell that garlic and the onion and the curry now. Even though I didn't put a lot. Alright. Alright, so I've taken it off the heat. Now I've thrown in this cold sauce. And I'm going to throw in some fresh herbs, some dill, parsley, and basil. I'm just going to quickly mix it up. Again, if you want a smooth sauce, go for it. Just put it in the blender, so add a little bit of liquid. And you'll get a totally smooth pasta sauce. And whatever you put in the pasta is up to you. You can make use just avocados, you can make an avocado one, or a red pepper one, all kinds of stuff. As you can use sauce, anything you want. This is kind of a mixture, it's kind of a little bit of everything, but I'd say that uh, the red peppers is the most prevalent. There you go. And I'm going to put the lid on just for a minute, if even, because I don't want, that's, because it's so ground up, you know, it, it uh, I don't think uh, it's in any danger of cooking as long as you don't leave it long. But keep in mind, because it's all ground up, you know, it'll heat up faster. All right, so there you have it in the bowl. Let's get it in the lid a little bit more. And you can see camera doesn't really do it justice, but make it yourself, you'll see. Like, boy, I can smell all that. It smells like a whole garden in there, and it's, yet it smells like pasta. And it's, hmm. So I'm going to put it just a little bit. Well, <laughs> most people would put a little bit of cheese. I'm going to do what I do, being a cheese nut. And there you go. That's it. And then eat pretty much right away. Then what you have is a nice warm pasta with all this raw vegetables running through it that are just barely even warmed. Alright, let's try it out. It's good. Mm. There's just so many incredible garden flavors running through there. You can just taste all the nutrients, you know, they haven't been lost. Um, they're barely even warmed up, the, the, the vegetables and the sauce, just, just barely. So. Um, and the pasta is hot and, and it's zesty. So yeah, you can do a million versions of this. So half cooked, half raw pasta, refry the pasta in some oil, maybe some garlic and onion, make a cold sauce, maybe just take a little bit of whatever that sauce is, put it in when frying it, quickly fry up the pasta, and that's it. And add the hot to the cold, let stand for a minute, cheese or whatever you want on it and eat. So go try it out. Mm. Gonna have to have another one of these. Mm. Mm, 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 mm.